I met the Nord Schleife in the Ruckel Bastion Hot Lap Special, here to right or wrong. Recently I saw Herman's video, and at the end, he was besmirching this car's good name. That simply won't do. Now, I've seen his W12 F1 lap, he is very fast, but you, you can't drive an American muscle car with ESC on and call that an indicative performance. That's, that's simply not how they're meant to be driven. They're meant to be throttle steered, meant to be thrown over curbs, meant to just do whatever you need with gusto. At the very least, it's faster than a hot hatch. Definitely not a Porsche, those things are very fast. But I think we can hit a 720 here. More than enough downforce to be confident through there. Charging down here at 165. And... Absolutely no issues on the brakes whatsoever. Whether it's on the brakes or the gas, it's just very sure-footed, which is how it's meant to be driven. Like so. Absolutely no issues slowing down in time. And then a bit of throttle steer just for fun. <laughs> Didn't want to bounce off that curb, so I had to kind of wiggle it around a little. There, no real understeer from hitting that curb. Most cars would not be able to do that. Absolutely smooth. Bashed it a little bit there, but doesn't care. Doesn't veer. Doesn't complain. It just charges ahead. Oh, it will be interesting to see how much damage we did at the end of this lap. That time we didn't even do anything, it just kind of spit some of its bodywork off, <laughs> bottoming out. No troubles there. More than enough downforce to be safe through here. far into this. And keep on going. Take all the course here. If anything, we braked later than, or earlier than we needed to. oversteer through the uh, carousel if we want to. So much rubber on the road. Every inch of the track is usable. Give 
get some uh, throttle steer to get over here. Let's give it a little drift, why not? bottoming out too hard here. There we go. Very confident. Give it the trail break. Rally cross now. Charging onto the back straight. Now, a couple errors here and there might have prevented me from hitting a 720. Let's see. as we leisurely scroll up the hill at 170 miles per hour. And now I show you what plate braking actually looks like. And there you go. Oh, I might have damaged something with the aerodynamics. Oh, wow. And that was a lot of errors. This is probably a low in the 710 range. So an error-free perfect lap would put it well within range of a 918 Spider in a whole range of Porsches. So I think I've, I've proven my point here. Also, I forgot to show the damage. So here's a dramatic reenactment.